Hello folks, my name is Jason Sage with Jagus LLC and this is a, a video on a new free product that we uh, developed called Springly Timer. Uh, when you install Springly Timer you'll see these Superman like colors with the J for the Jagus logo. You can make a quick launch icon or a desktop icon but uh, you'll see I'm actually already running it over here to time this video. It's in stopwatch mode and I unpaused it and it's just counting the time as it goes by. But I wanted to just give you a quick primer on how to use this Springly Timer. When you first start it up, if you have the font called LCD, which looks like these neat calculator uh, numbers, you, that's what you'll get. If you don't, you'll have numbers that look more like you know a, a font that's similar, like Arial or something. They just won't have this uh, digital look if you don't have that font installed. Um, <clears throat> this is the standard mode or the full-size mode of the Springly Timer. And this isn't a real difficult program, so I just want to kind of just skim through all the features. First of all, when the default mode is countdown mode, and let's just start with the menu. You have file, you have exit, all right? That just exits the program naturally, and you also have the same button here. The icons pretty much match. The size of timer under options is you have a, a mini mode, which you see I'm using down here, uh, and you just click, if you go back to options, you can click the, the size of timer button here with the up arrow, which indicates it's going to go into the big mode. We also have timer modes. The default again is countdown and the countdown works in conjunction with this message box over here that you can change what the message is going to be and and basically if you can edit these numbers just by highlighting them and typing in what you want to type in. If I wanted to do two seconds I'm in countdown mode. I have a message times up. If I hit the pause button which is right here you'll see that here. Pause. If I click that the countdown will start working and then I get a message, the one that I typed up here. There's also a tone, which I don't think that you hear, but it's playing into my headset. It's a little, like, chime. It's better than a buzzer or something quite alarming. It just has, like, a little musical do-do-do-do. Um, and it's, it's very good at getting your attention with the, with the high contrast alternating. You can just close that. That's, that's what that's good for. And, um, for example, uh, that might be handy if you want to limit the amount of time that you're using your computer or working on a specific task. If you just want to set a quick reminder to, hey, you got to go pick up the kids in an hour um, or something like that, you can set the time, minimize this thing, and let the countdown run. And when that timer runs out, you will get that message. If I put, put three seconds on here and I hit unpause, it's starting to count down, minimize it. Even if I open up another program, or another program, it'll pop up over it. So it will remind you. Okay, so going back to the Springly Timer. Uh, let's see what other options we have. We have the stopwatch mode. If you go to timer mode here, you can click stopwatch and it changes the way the mode works. But you'll notice this little s clock right here, if I put the timer mode back on countdown, it's an alarm clock looking thing because it works with the little alarm screen. And if you change the timer mode to stopwatch, this turns to a clock. Instead of using the menu, you can actually just click this. That puts it in countdown mode. If you click it again, that puts it in stopwatch mode. Stopwatch mode counts up. Countdown mode counts down and it has the message when it reaches zero. So if I was to put it in stopwatch mode and I move over to the pause button, it'll just start counting time forward. All right, we skipped over this one right here. This is the toggle countdown alarm message. If you're in countdown mode, I'm gonna pause the timer here and we're gonna make it count backwards. And I have this message like you saw, but if I have this, uh, if I have this message, this thing unchecked, message enabled, there's no check mark, all right? and then I do the countdown by unpausing I will not get the message it'll just run out at zero if I click this button here to enable that and I set this timer back up to two and I do a countdown by unpausing now I'll get the message see how that works okay good now we've pretty much covered all the functionality of the Springly timer what's left is uh, we have some options here in the help we have the about screen which tells about Jagus the name the version of the software you can also visit us online. It'll use whatever your current default browser is to bring you to our website by clicking that. And how long is it going to take? Ah, there we are. We're here. We're at our website. Wonderful. Okay. So that, that's how you can get to visit us whenever you like. Also under the help, we have updates. This will actually go check. When you click this, uh, checkjagus.com for updates, it'll let you know if there's been an update to the software. Um, when you click that, you might get a uh, your far if you have a firewall uh, block like this. I have AVG running, AVG Professional. If I click Allow for All, it's at this point it's preventing uh, Springly Timer from actually sending uh, 
or being able to look to see if there's an update by allowing it uh, in your firewall software it might work differently but just be aware that that might happen when you click that and it tells me right here after it checked the website that nope there's no new version yet okay also under the help we have send us feedback all we ask for is a name an email city state and zip um, the address stuff and phone number is extra if you want to put that in and you have to fill in a message of what your feedback is and the submit button will light up and it'll send us your feedback likewise you might get the firewall pop up because it always uh, you know that's the only time it goes to the internet at all is when you are specifically trying to do something on the internet the only time that the Springly timer will access the internet is if you want to look for updates send us feedback or submit a bug report which looks very much like the feedback form um, except the only difference is that when we get the message we can tell we can tell if uh, your message is about a bug or your message is about feedback maybe for new features or things you like or don't like about the software and last but not least we have the online help we really don't have a lot online yet because this product is so new we really just didn't know what folks might need help with it's a pretty simple program but uh, that doesn't mean you won't have trouble with it and it's okay if you do um, just let us know with these feedback buttons here like send us some feedback on how we can improve the help or what areas of this software uh, you're having trouble with and we'll, we'll document that gladly for you one of the things too I didn't talk about yet uh, is these buttons right here you can change the numbers even while the timer is going which <laughs> which can get a little strange if you really want to get exact you might want to pause the timer when you want to make changes to the numbers that you want to work with but they, these buttons work the same and you can actually just highlight them too as, as I showed you a little bit is you can just type in what you want and they're pretty much limited to two characters in the minutes in the seconds column and for hours I don't know maybe to be silly I uh, calculated how many hours were in a year and it was like 8,000 something or other so I made it so that the hours if you wanted to I don't think anyone ever would but just to be silly I made it so you actually could have four characters in this even though you can't see them all um, you could actually put four characters in the hours if you wanted to have the timer go for a year which I don't think anyone ever would but I was just being silly um, but anyway that, that that's pretty much it I think I've covered everything I hope you enjoy Springly Timer and we hope that uh, this has a, a, a good benefit or use to you and uh, it can be used a lot of different ways and one of the ways I'm using it right now as you see is I'm trying to make sure that my YouTube video here that I'm making for you doesn't exceed 10 minutes and I think I'm, I've, I've, I've <laughs> I don't have a problem I'm only on 7 but that's just one way that you can use the Springly Timer and we hope you enjoy using it and have a good day I'm Jason Sage with Jigas LLC